It's the Jewish High Holy Days, and you are invited to join in and learn more. Rabbi Kohan from Temple Emmanuel joins us to talk about the full service reform synagogue that has something for everyone. Thank you. It's great to be here, and I want to say Lishana Tova, which means a good new year, not a happy one. Happy's good, but good is better. Yes. That's sort of the Jewish idea. We have a special program this year at Temple Emmanuel, the historic synagogue for all of Arizona. Uh, in which we are inviting everyone to come attend. We call it Be Our Guest. Mm -hmm. um, and everyone is welcome to come to the High Holy Day services. We don't charge admission or anything. You do have to call in advance and pre-register. But there's been this sort of sense that at this holiest time of year, the most important time for Jews, the beginning of the Jewish New Year, I have lots of show of and tell do. stuff yeah, for you today, parts. of course. Um, and good stuff to eat as well. And it, this most important holiday when more Jews come to synagogue than any other time of year, we wanted to make sure that everybody felt like they can come. And even if you just want to learn more about Judaism, call 327-4501 and you can come to Temple Emmanuel for the High Holy Days as our guest this year. Excellent. So it's a very special time of year and we are delighted not only to um, invite people but also to have them come for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur these 10 days that are the highest of the holy days for yes. the whole Isn't year. Isn't it crazy that it's already the holiday season? I knew you were going to say that. Um, <laughs> I, always, I, always, I, always, I always say it. Surprises it. Her. it, it does. Is, it's and if you think it's crazy for you, try being I, a yes. rabbi and a cantor when yes. Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur come up. This is uh, by far the busiest time of mm -hmm. year. And it's also a time when not only do we celebrate the way Americans celebrate a new year, New Year's a happy time, but it's also a time for Jews of serious introspection, a time when we look at our lives in the past year and while I know in other cultures lots of people make New Year's resolutions, but at Rosh Hashanah we look back and decide what it is that we've done in the past year, who we've been, and who we wish to be in the coming year. So it's a really important period. It's also a time when God can forgive you for the things you haven't done that you meant to do, but if you've injured another person, you have to go to that person and apologize. So I want to say if there's anything I've done, Amanda, in the wonderful two years that you've been here on Morning Thank Blend, you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like if I didn't bring enough honey cake one time. Yes. Um, well, and I apologize to you if I didn't eat enough of the delicious <laughs> food you have brought. In. That is a Jewish sin, by the way, not <laughs> yes. eating enough. I know it is. I know it Absolutely is. Absolutely the case. So along with these delicious cakes, I mean, what mm -hmm. are some of the traditions? Sure. So Rosh Hashanah is a time when we eat anything with uh, honey to have a sweet new year. We say, L'shana tova umetuka. May it be a good year and a sweet new year. Um, it's a time for family, but it's a synagogue-oriented festival, unlike Pesach, Passover, where really it's very home-oriented. On Rosh Hashanah, we have lovely foods. Um, it's traditionally kreplach, which is a Jewish... I didn't bring kreplach. They're really hard to make. Um, <laughs> and which you eat it, of course, in chicken soup, and it's supposed to be filled with good things as a reminder that you want a year that's filled with blessing. Mm -hmm. And we come to synagogue, and we apologize for the sins we've committed in the past year. And we also check out what everybody else is wearing to see how nicely dressed they of are. Of course. Um, I'm not saying there are Jews who only come on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, but there are many Jews who particularly come mm -hmm. on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Rosh Hashanah is a week from tonight, the 24th and the 25th is the day, and we blow the shofar, the ram's horn, which reminds us to awaken our souls and to say, this is who I am, but this is who I wish to become in this coming year of what's 5775 is the Jewish year. So I actually brought um, four different shofarot, okay. four different ram's horns. They're not all rams. There's some different kosher animals you can use. Um, this one is a traditional Ashkenazic shofar that is from Jews of Eastern Europe. You can see it's kind of cut in particular ways. Mm -hmm. You want to hear a little bit of this? Stuff? Yes, I was just going to ask you, are all, do they all sound different? They all sound a little bit different. Okay. That's correct. Um, and this one is, this is a standard first call called Tekia. <laughs> And that's what most people think of as a shofar mm -hmm. in America. This is one of my favorites. This is actually a shofar box. I brought it back from Marrakesh, Morocco. Yes. Only place I've ever seen them. This is the last shofar maker in Morocco because most of the Moroccan Jews, it was a huge community once. Now they're in Israel or they're in France or America, Canada. And this one is actually carved to look like the walls of Marrakesh. A little hard to see, perhaps, but it's got kind of crenellated. It's beautiful. It's really pretty. And then this part is carved to be like a trumpet. So oh, the, I'll do the second call on this one. You can hear the difference. Mm -hmm. And that's Shivarim. 
So a little yes, bit. Yes, you can hear that. Do you think that would awaken anybody? To I, be think ready so. for, yeah, uh, I think so. Yeah, I think so. No one's going to be sleeping. Days. Everyone at the station was like, what is that? Yes, no one's wait. sleeping at Temple. But wait, there's more. No, <laughs> nobody sleeps at Temple Emanuel, not even during the sermon. We <laughs> make sure that they're interesting enough to keep everybody engaged. Absolutely. We also, by the way, uh, live stream our services in HD. We're the only congregation in, in the country, Jewish congregation, streaming um, High Holy Day services wow. in HD this year from our website. Not competing, you know. Right. Um, and then this shofar is actually an ibex horn from Israel. Um, and it's again a kind of a different sound. It's really beautiful. Um, and it goes like this. Teruah. I like that one. That one's fun. All right, Rabbi. <laughs> unfortunately, we are out of time. But thank no you worries. so much for joining us it today. It is my pleasure. And happy High Holy Days. You or say, no. You got to say it after me. No. Shana Tova. La Shana Tova. Excellent. La Shana Tova. There you go. Good New Year. Everybody's welcome to be our guest at Temple Man. Yes. Happy Good Year. Good New Year. <laughs> Everyone is invited to be a guest for the High Holy Days at no charge. To find out more, you can call 327-4501 or visit their website at templeemmanueltucson.org. Coming up, it's a rough life for one little puppy looking for a forever home. The Humane Society of Southern Arizona joins us when we come back.